Hey, this is Mr. T trying to work out how to use Fusion 360. So today what we're going to do is create the base of our automata. So to start off with, we are going to first of all open a new file, or if you have a blank file already displayed, that's fine. But opening a new file, click on new design, and it will pop up like that. I already have one, so I'll close that one. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to save this file. I'm going to save it as A-U-T-O-M-A-T-A. -A -A. And we're going to click Save. So that's gone and renamed this area here um, as Automata version 0. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch. So if you go Sketch, Create Sketch, you get these three areas here. And you can choose on any of them. Those three areas of three planes inside the Cartesian plane. Um, I'm going to click on the bottom one. Doesn't matter which one I click on. Next, I'm going to create a rectangle. So I always start somewhere on the origin, but you don't have to. You can click anywhere where you like. And I'm going to make this 200 long by 150 down press enter and that goes and gives us the box now you can zoom in and out using this tool down the bottom or if you've got a wheelie mouse you can just wheel on the middle mouse um, the next thing I'm going to do is to and I've gone and showed the whole area right the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to click on sketch and I'm going to go down to offset now here I'm going to click anywhere on the rectangle I've just drawn and you see it gets two arrowed dragger there, slider. So I'm going to slide it in a bit. And then you can see down here, I've slid it in 7.974. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change, type in 12 and press Enter. OK, so I've now got an offset of 12 millimeters. And it's drawn a second rectangle inside, which is rather cool. OK, next, I want to extend some of these lines. So I've gone sketch and clicked on the extend tool. And if I go and hover over this rectangle here, you can see an area is highlighted in red. Click on there, and that has extended the line across there. Click on there, across there. Click on there, across there. Click on there, across there. Fantastic. That's it. That's all I need to do. So I can now stop the sketch. So click on stop sketch and that is awesome now then i can click on one of these corners up in the top right hand corner up here and now i'm going to create an extrusion so i'm going to click on there um, so now it's asking me to select so i'm going to select that edge there and that edge there i'm going to drag up a little bit and the distance I'm actually going to drag up should be 65 millimeters. So press enter. OK. And that has gone and dragged up these two sides. I'm going to, oh, hang on. The sketch has disappeared. So I need to come over to my browser, click on sketches, see the little light bulb. I need to switch the light bulb on, and my sketch has reappeared. So now I'm going to create another extrusion. I'm going to click on that piece there and that piece there. Again, I'm going to type in 65, which brings it up beautifully. But before I go and press Enter, I'm going to change from Join to New Body. And that way, I've actually created separate bodies, which are separate kind of entities in my drawing. So now I can click OK, and you can see this beautiful box. The last thing we're going to do, just do a right mouse click anywhere on the background. I'm going to select appearance and I get this appearance dialog box up here. And I can choose what I want it to look like. So um, any with that little symbol down there means it hasn't been downloaded. And you can just click on that to download. But I'm going to go for a bamboo. And I'm going to drag that up to there and I'll drag that up to that end. Then I'm going to click on some 
let's go for some ooh, chrome let's go for some chrome i'm going to click on that there i'm going to click on that there that looks now it's not particularly gorgeous is it um let's try coatings um yeah copper gold iron lead and you can play them okay let's try aluminium oh yeah some groovy colors in aluminium let's go for a nice glow of red and a nice glow of red there they are and to get rid of that you press escape and that's it that has made our box well done oh the last thing i guess i should do before i stop this I should save it. So, save user version so I can say, um, end of video hash one. Woohoo! Fantastic. Don't forget to back up your work. Woohoo!